is the plan to stick with uh, web browsers or eventually venture into building an iOS and Android app? Yeah, so we already have an Android app. In fact, it only took, you know, we launched about two weeks ago and it only took like a week to get the Android version out as well. It was a lot quicker than we thought it would. Um, there's still some rough edges we got to clean up with it. So it's just an alpha build on our GitHub that people can download and let us know if it works well. Um, we're going to put it up, up on F-Droid and um, you know, probably the Google Play Store as well soon. But for now, we're just testing it out. And that only took like five days. Um, I think we can get iOS walls as well. It just it just turns into like, you know, one of the other reasons we a big inspiration for doing it on the web is when I got censored from the app Play Store or the iOS Play Store. So uh, what ended up happening, me and me and Paul had a different business that we were doing consulting on the side and we wanted to spin up, uh, you know, an app with dev account and push up and uh, we wanted to push one of the first iterations of Mutiny on the app store just to get it up there. And after doing all of their KYC and KY business stuff, they ended up saying I was a sanctioned individual and they had like absolutely no grounds for saying it. And I tried to repeal it like three times and they said that I was on some sanction list somewhere and they wouldn't say anything else about it. Um, and I, I believe me and Paul just looked up the messages, but it was like back in September and I just messaged him like, fuck it, dude, let's go to the web. They can't stop us there. And that's, that's been what we've been doing since is getting it to work on the web. So, um, you know, we'll, we will have apps, um, as well. And, and, you know, an iOS, maybe you'll eventually be able to sideload better. Um, but you know, one of the things is like, at the very least, like we always have the web browser and that can never be taken away from us. Otherwise there's probably going to be features we're going to have to take out of our wallet to get approved in some of the app stores. Um, which is one of the reasons we'll probably just do F Droid first, so we don't have to deal with any of that, and we just keep shipping. Um, but yeah, with app stores, the whole censorship thing is is a problem. I mean, it's yeah. just like you know when you think about it, like you know, Domus was was censored a few months back. Other Nostr wallets are being censored for the use of like Lightning payments that are not you know going through Apple, so they're not getting their thirty percent. When you think about all that, you start to wonder like, what have apps Bitcoin apps been, you know, stripping out of their apps this whole time that they've never been able to implement. Like, what could we have seen Bitcoin usage be if every app didn't have to go through Apple? Like, you don't hear about all the apps that get banned and all the app reviews that all these companies have to do. It's a lot. Like, if you, especially when you get in the custodian game, when I'm, I'm not going to name names, but I was talking to one app, uh, you know, developer and from a major custodian, and like they, they have to go back and forth all the time. It could be weeks for some of the app, like new features need to roll out across all platforms and they're waiting weeks to get approved by Apple um, for, for a feature that should, you know, should be no problem. So I, I think, you know, it, it's going to be really cool to see what we can do when we can have um, apps not, you know, self-censure themselves too. Uh, we have uh, we have the ability to do subscriptions in the app. And I think that's something that like no other Bitcoin wallet has as a way to monetize the dev team. Um, through subscription. So, you know, we kind of use something called Nostra Wallet Connect for that. But essentially is like we do a push notification to the user's phone in order for them to uh, renew their subscription to the Mutiny team, um, and to the Mutiny wallet. And so you can get Mutiny Plus, which right now doesn't really give you anything except uh, smug satisfaction, as, as we say in the wallet. Um, but, you know, there there is going to be paid only features that eventually come for the wallet. And and the way we can do that is because we can push subscriptions to the user. And I don't think that'll ever be allowed in the app store.